Hi, let's talk about ion dipole, intermolecular forces. Um, so an ion dipole is when you have an ion with a polar molecule. Um, I've given it an example here with sodium chloride that has dissolved in water. So it creates ions, the sodium ion and the chloride ion, cation anion, and it's in water, which is a polar molecule, extremely polar molecule because it has hydrogen bonding, dipole, dipole, and London dispersion. Uh, so very, very polar molecule. It does not equally uh, distribute or share electrons. Um, so notice how the water surrounds those ions. This is also the solvation process. It's the process of dissolving. Uh, water will always surround an ion, positive, negative, positive, negative. So notice that cation positive, all of the partial um, negatives of the oxygen go close to that sodium. So here's your partial negative on the oxygen. You could write that on all four of these. That partial negative is attracted to the sodium, that ion, that positive. Now, the hydrogen in water is the partial positive. So it's no surprise that the partial uh, positive of the hydrogen is attracted to that negative of the chlorine. Um, so the partial positive is attracted to the negative ion. The partial, did I say that right? So I don't know if I said it right. The partial positive is attracted to the negative ion and the partial negative is attracted to the positive ion. Now in the hierarchy of intermolecular forces, um, if we're just doing um, our regular standby is pure substance, it could be pure substance or a mixture, you always have hydrogen bonding is the strongest, then dipole, dipole, then London dispersion forces. Well, I'm going to interject and tell you that ion dipole is right here in the hierarchy, is right underneath hydrogen bonding. It's actually stronger than dipole-dipole intermolecular forces. And I want you to think why. Why is it that an ion dipole, ion with a polar molecule, is going to be stronger than two polar molecules together? Remember, polar molecules, um, let's take maybe a hydrogen sulfide here. You're going to have the partial negative, partial positive, and then another um, hydrogen sulfide will come close and the partial negative goes close to the positive and you have your uh, partial positive down here. Well, those are two molecules, polar molecules that attract positive to negative, partial negative, partial positive. You've maybe come up with it. The reason why ion dipole is stronger is because you have a full on charge. That is a complete plus one. Whereas over here, that's only a partial. It's only a part of a, it's not even a whole um, positive. It's a fraction of a positive charge. So because the ion is a full charge, a plus one, a full minus one, it has a greater intermolecular force. And so it's pretty easy thinking about, oh yeah, that's a full charge. It's not a partial charge, it's a full charge. So that has a greater intermolecular force than like a dipole-dipole interaction would. Okay, nice job, ion dipole. Have a great day, thanks.